pictures or just look at the photos. So let's go to Belize vacation here. This is, again, streaming off the .Mac servers, live. Isn't this incredible? On Dot .Mac, we also have movies. And I want to play you a movie. You know, this is, this is some footage that was taken by one of, our, uh, one of our iMovie guys, the chief architect of iMovie, on one of his vacations. It caused him to want to create iMovie. And he created iMovie, and he edited this on iMovie, and with one click, puts it up on the Dot .Mac web gallery. And now here we are with our new Apple TV, watching it on a, on a very widescreen TV. You get the idea. For the recipient, there is no computer involved here. They're doing this all from their couch on their widescreen TV. So, let me go to Flickr now. This is Flickr Live, right from their servers. So I'm going to go to Love to Hike 78. Go in there. And you know, I we can show you all the photos from Love to Hike 78, but I'm going to do something even more fun. I'm going to go to Love to Hike 78's contacts. These are Love to Hike 78's friends. Right? So I'm not even looking at their videos. I'm looking at their friends' photos here. And uh, I'm going to go to uh, Harrow 552, whoever that is, and uh, I'm going to play uh, some photos from the boating trip. See the look on my oh. face. I'm staying too long in one play. Well, every time I try to leave. No. Nope. Well, I'm afraid Flickr's not serving up the photos on that one. <laughs> so, that's what I wanted to show you today. Isn't that incredible? This is all, all from your widescreen TV. Movies. Boom. Find out about the movie, preview it, rent it in DVD quality, rent it in high def. Genres, action adventure, family gems, comedy classics. And then TV shows. Buy from over 600 television shows. Buy music. Over six million songs. Again, have it automatically synced to your computers. Podcasts. The ones we saw, you might want to look at election 2008. It's amazing. Over 125,000 podcasts in the directory. And photos from Dot .Mac, as we saw. And when they're serving up photos, Flickr. <laughs> so... We're really excited about this. And again, over, f over 50 million video streams from YouTube. So this is where we're at with Apple TV. I think it's a revolution. And uh, certainly we've made some progress since our first try. Apple TV, the new software, is a free software upgrade. Every Apple TV owner. We want everybody to have this new software, this entirely new user interface, all of the rental software, free upgrade to every Apple TV owner. Now, given the fact that we've got all new software and that we've got the support and participation from every major studio, 
we want to make Apple TV even more accessible. Right now, it sells for $2.99, but not anymore. The new price of Apple TV starting today is just $229. We are shipping, we are shipping the, soft, the free software upgrade to existing owners and the new $229 Apple TV in just two weeks. So, let's come back to iTunes movie rentals. You can watch them on your computer. You can watch them on all current generation iPods. You can watch them on your iPhone, and now you can also watch them on your widescreen television. You can order them for your computer, your iPods, and your iPhone right off of iTunes on your computer. You can order them for your widescreen television right on your widescreen television with Apple TV. We have support from every major studio. I think we've got it all together. Now, I want to tell you, the first studio to sign up with us for iTunes movie rentals was 20th Century Fox. We really appreciate that. We've developed a really great working relationship with Fox. We're doing some great stuff together. And it's my pleasure to introduce to you the chairman and CEO of 20th Century Fox, Jim Giannopoulos. Hey. Wow. Hey, buddy. Whoa. That's a crowd. Hi, Steve. Come on, buddy. Let's see you. Thank you. Wow, what a great crowd. I'm backstage uh, listening to Steve talk about movie rentals and getting all excited. And I realized I already knew about it, so I can imagine how everybody else, you know, is going to feel. Um, I'll give you a little of the backstory. Um, you know, you don't get to talk about movies and media and technology for very long before you start talking about business models. And so, like any other studio, we spend a lot of time talking about business models, old models, New models, evolving models, how to improve models. When you really get down to it, all those models and all that complexity distills into two things. Make great movies, give it to people in as many ways as you possibly can. That's basically it. When you talk to people about what they want, the same thing comes back. They want a wide variety of choice. They want easy access to it. They want to be able to have it be convenient. They want to be able to control when and where and how they watch it. And they want to take it with them every chance they get. So choice and access, convenience, control, portability. Also pretty basic. Basic enough that even a studio guy can understand. So, but we don't do things that way. We have to think them through, right? So we go to our in-house technology department, our guru, our futurist, our technologist, give them the, all the ramifications and this is how it affects this and that and this, we give them all the data, and I think we have a slide with the result. <laughs> Woohoo! So, Homer's on board and it's auspicious. Tomorrow is the, uh, is the uh, rental opening, of the, uh, the video rental for um, for the Simpson movie. Um, actually, the real backstory is that when Steve came to us with this idea, it was a no-brainer. It was just the most exciting, coolest thing we'd ever heard. And, uh, and certainly, we still feel that way. Um, you know, VOD, video rentals, are not a new thing. You know, they're certainly available in other ways. They'll continue to be. People may make those choices. But there was music, and then there was the iPod. There was a phone, and then there was the iPhone. So, you know, Apple does things in a very intuitive, insightful, innovative, you know, I got a couple of I words left, but you get the idea, and I know you're all here, so you understand. So I think this will be a transformative version of, uh, of the rental model, and, and we're incredibly excited about it. Going back to that idea of giving people choices and options and ways of enjoying movies, because that's kind of what we do. Um, there's another idea that we've talked to um, Steve about and we've been 
working on for a while which